we would have set the mood here at our hotel room. We have a kick ass stereo, but unfortunately, we didn't have any cassettes with us. But again, it's way too early to vlog. I haven't had my morning coffee, but yeah, one month in Chiang Mai done. Where are we heading next? Uh, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. That's right. Pickups later, I think I can start vlogging now. It was uh, one month in Chiang Mai, time flew really fast. Like thinking now, it's uh, yeah, it feels like we came here yesterday. Next up, Kuala Lumpur for a night, and then uh, I'll do Phuket for three nights or so. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. There's like eight people in front of us. Oh yeah, back in KL for a day. Let's see if we can find our bag and uh, leave it somewhere here on the airfield. Airport. Not on the airfield. Just walk into your bag. Couldn't be better. Now we gotta figure out if we can leave our check-in bag here at the airport because we are staying only one day in KL and there's no we don't need anything from this bag before flying off tomorrow again. Are these the same lines? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Cool. Yeah, we kind of we didn't think about how long we're gonna stay in Thailand. We had our visa exemption, which is valid for 30 days. It's gonna yeah, basically we needed to get out of the country, so we bought flights to Kuala Lumpur for one night. We didn't think about that we could actually extend the. 30 day exemption as well. It would have been, uh, money wise, it would have been the same, so why not visit KL every now and then? I think we're gonna, yeah. Uh, leaving the bag 
uh, it was 50 ringgits, which is about 500 baht per day. And since we would like to keep it for 25, 26 hours there, they're gonna charge two days, which is 100 ringgit, about 20, 30 euros. So we can easily buy or pay taxis from train station to hotel and from hotel to train station, so it's no biggie. We're gonna take it with us. Gives us uh, more clothing in case we need it. I'm really struggling with the camera and the trolley and everything, so we're gonna take we're gonna take train to so many things happening. We're gonna take train downtown to KL Central and. Uh, See what happens then. And we are at the Concord Hotel. We've been in this place for like maybe four or five times. Every time we go to see Sepang, uh, I mean Malaysian Formula One Grand Prix, we usually stay at this place. We have good deals on the rooms. Let's see. So far, this trip has been quite good. We were sitting on fourth row on our flight. We got upgraded at the hotel. We're gonna take a dip into that one. It's a pool if you can't see. Checking back to you in a minute or two after refreshing swim. Okay, quick change of plans. I don't know, can you see that? Let's see. Yeah, it's... Sun is shining only to those seats and there's somebody sitting already, so... So, no, no reason to go to the pool. I can take shower instead. We thought about going to Helipad, which is a small like cocktail bar restaurant up in 38th floor of this one building where it used to be a helipad, hence the name. I think, yeah, I have to charge my camera first, so offline for a minute. See ya on the road. Okay, two hours later, the rain has stopped. I posted a few pictures in Instagram if you want to see it. It was quite a storm. The pictures aren't that good, but go check it out. It's at go for tom We are pretty much ready to leave, going to helipad. I hope we don't miss the sunset. We would have set the mood here at our hotel room. We have a kick-ass stereo, but unfortunately We didn't have any cassettes with us. Couldn't listen to anything. Are we ready to go? Yes. back at home or at the hotel kind of a home for tonight uh, nice to be vlogging again now I have to edit all this uh, 40 minutes of footage and make it into 5 to 10 minutes worth watching YouTube video if you like this episode hit the thumbs up subscribe and do all that chisel manishal and we'll see you on the next one, probably already tomorrow. Good night.